It's Keith from Load Up, your loader concierge, and today I want to give you guys a uh, tour slash tutorial on our loader portal. Now there are multiple ways to get into the loader portal. You can actually use your phone, go to settings, and you'll see something that says go to loader portal. But if you just want to, you know, go on a desktop and use it, you can find it there as well just by using Google. So we're going to go all the way to there. So in Google, you just type in load up loader portal, scroll down, and you'll know it's the right one because it'll have load up right next to it. Go into it. Now, to access the loader portal, all you got to do is use the same credentials that you have to go into the load up app. So type in your load up credentials. Same username, same password, all is the same. And now we are in the loader portal. So let's give you a grand tour. On your homepage, you're going to have the highest ranking loaders, the lowest ranking loaders, your potential earnings, which are jobs that you've accepted but not have, have yet to complete, um, your earned, which are jobs that we are about to authorize a payment for, and any tips that you've received, um, a waiting invoice. We've issued a purchase order but haven't received approved your invoice. Basically, this will have a money amount on Tuesdays, the day that we usually send out our purchase orders, so you'll see them there. And then paid, how much money that you've made with Loadup. Do not worry about this number, guys. This is just a test account. Now, moving on, we have orders. So the beautiful thing about the Loader Portal is you can actually complete orders on the Loader Portal. The same way that you would do it on your phone is the exact same process. You can mark in route. You can mark arrived. You can mark completed. It all can be done right here. Pending activity, we're actually going to go in there. Pending activity will be anything that is financially still up in the air when it comes to uh, things that you do. That doesn't mean that you haven't completed it. It just means it needs to be addressed. Next, we're going to go to purchase orders. Pur these are all the purchase orders that you've ever done when it comes to being part of Loadup. You go in there and you can see if anything doesn't make any sense, this is the place you can check it out at. Now, the availability counter, this is probably one of my favorite things when it comes to Loadup. So, in the availability counter, you can at, make yourself available the entire week. See, I have everything checked off for the whole week because I, I like to stay busy. If you want to uncheck it because you're on vacation or something, you can uncheck it just like that. So, just in case I have something to do, Sunday and Monday, I won't be contacted. Now, to recontact yourself, just go back in there and do the exact same thing. Check them on. And update calendar. And I'm back at it like I was. Very simple, very easy. Moving to loader tips. So, when I was a loader, customer service was my biggest thing. And customer service would be the biggest thing for you as well. This is where all your tips will come. Now, they are 100% yours. Um, the customers are very generous, especially if you're nice to them, and especially if you're giving them great customer service. So this is where your tips will show up. Lifetime org rating, 4.9. Mine was pretty high. 90-day org rating. This is where all your, uh, your ratings for the past 90 days will show up. Try to keep it as perfect as five. Fives like I, I did when I was out there, and you'll be good to go. How much money you've made for the month, help, and settings, which will have account and where to sign out. And we're just going to go right back to home. So that was you basically a grand tour of the Loader Portal. Um, if you have any questions or anything or if you want to check out more videos with Loadup, please go to our YouTube channel at Go Loadup. And as always, have a great day.